I wear regular glasses, what are you going to do? And they made it work, but still, I look a little odd. So having it as just one device is going to be a great boon for me and the millions of others who must wear glasses. These glasses, well, super cool, mm -hmm. do have a reputation for being a little nerdy. Does this make them more mainstream? Will this oh, make them more mainstream? Well, first of all, it's a connection to something that so many people, you know, a lot of people have vision insurance with this company. So this is the kind of first broadening of the Google Glass program. And it has to potentially make it cooler with one caveat. I don't know if they're going to get cheaper yet. And unless they get cheaper, they're $1,500 to start, and then there's the cost of the prescription lenses, a ton of people aren't going to just go marching in to get Google Glass. So that's the kind of hump they still have to get over. I mean, they're still very expensive. Yeah. How much difference do the new styles make? Will people start going in to get them? Will the computer part of it be a little bit more incognito? You know, I have to say, I'm going to take these off for a second because the computer part really is, is confined to basically this. So there's always been this concept that you could really attach them to those regular glasses. And even though the, the glasses that we've seen from Google and their designer, they're nice looking, but they're pretty limited, you know, eventually there'll be some way of just clipping these onto whatever frames you want. But this is a good first step because once they've made the deal with VSP, that means, you know, the sky's the limit. They can start to work with them to extend the brand, to extend the product into other frames.